The account of the disaster in Third Nephi is very interesting in a number of ways. It sounds like uh, a hurricane or a, a large earthquake or maybe a combination of, uh, of those kinds of things. But as you read through the account, there's, there's so many little details that uh, make it apparent that what they are talking about is a large explosive volcanic eruption. Mesoamerica is a land of volcanoes. It is one of the most active volcanic areas of the world. The shaking in the Book of Mormon lasted for three hours. That's not typical of a big earthquake, but it's very typical for one of these kinds of explosive volcanic eruptions. If you're in a massive earthquake, the biggest one in historic times was the Alaska earthquake, uh, and that one lasted for about three to four minutes in the biggest earthquake we've recorded. It often has uh, magma and rock plugging up the volcano to some extent, and it takes a while for that um, material to be cleared out. This may take uh, several hours. In the eruption of Mount Tambura in 1815, one single eruption, about 100 times the size of the Mount St. Helens eruption, severely affected an area of 1,000 miles in circumference. One of the uh, points made in the Third Nephi account is that the whole face of the land was changed. And there is no other natural event, no hurricane, no earthquake, nothing that will rearrange a landscape like a volcano. The blast produced by this initial pulse produces winds in excess of 300 miles an hour. And these winds uh, can cause enormous damage. Another thing that is produced with all this ash being put up into the atmosphere is that um, the ash and molecules of the air rub against one another and produce a lot of static electricity. The static electricity creates phenomenal lightning. Lightning such as you have never seen before. Some of the lightning comes in, in ball form. Lightning is one of the things that was happening during these volcanic eruptions coming down and even balls of lightning coming down that can literally bounce along the ground. Uh, more than likely, people were killed by some of this. We can imagine the state of mind for those who find themselves still alive. The ash is so thick in the air that it simply blocks out the sunlight. And then we have this darkness, darkness that goes on for three days. And many people describe uh, this darkness that's produced by the ash as so impenetrable that they cannot see their hand when held directly in front of their face. And during the darkness, a voice comes. Uh, announcing, I am Jesus Christ. And then silence. It was so powerful. It was so powerful that silence ensued. 